I am a soft, sassy, or feminine man, and one thing I realized a while ago is that my masculinity has nothing to do with my sexuality. And I think that's one of the biggest contributors to this idea of toxic masculinity, is defining people's sexuality for them based off the way they express themselves, or the way that we assign gender to expression. Like for instance, I will carry this bag around. Some people may call it a purse, but it is just a very convenient way for me not to carry things around my pocket anymore. Because what does carrying a purse around, getting my toes done, or taking care of myself have to do with my sexuality? Nothing. And I've never been more secure in my masculinity or sexuality, but I had to stop living up to society's definition of either. What's up, boo? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So for today, we got a quick little story time because like this woman say, the men are so unserious. Let's get into it. Men are so unserious. So I talked to my friend last night and I was asking her about this guy that she had told me that she had met on a dating app. That's where they're the most unserious. Asking her how it was going and the story goes like this. She met this guy on a dating app. They had talked on and off the app for about a week and a half, almost two weeks before he asked her on a date. Um, they were going to some restaurant. I don't remember the restaurant. And about an hour before they were supposed to meet at the restaurant, he texts her and tells her, make sure she gets snacks so she don't bring too much of her appetite because he didn't intend on buying both of them full meals. What? Okay. But at least he, at least he did communicate it to her. Cause that's, that's what all I can stress, you know, is y'all need to start communicating with each other. But what? Oh my God. Now I wouldn't have went on a date. That would have been it for me. You can go alone. Period. I, I'm with home girl. Why you didn't just ask me out for coffee or something then? But that's just me. She continues to talk to the guy even after the date. She said the conversation was okay, but she continues to talk to him about two weeks go by and his birthday weekend is coming up. And so he had been subtly hinting that he wanted to spend some of his birthday with her. So she hesitantly, she said she really wasn't feeling doing nothing with him for his birthday because they haven't been talking that long. And, you know, the first date, which very off putting, but she tells him that um, she can meet him at Firebirds for Saturday lunch and they can celebrate his birthday then. He agrees. She gets to Firebirds on that Saturday and she's sitting at the bar waiting for him and he comes in and she said he seemed like he got like a little slight attitude. So as soon as he get there, you know, she's like energetic, like, oh, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. He gets she gets him a birthday shot. And she said, you know, maybe like 15 minutes or so go by, like the birthday shot didn't kick in. He seemed like he's loosening up a little bit. So she asked him, like, you know, it's your birthday. Like, you don't really seem that excited. Like, you don't really seem like you're in a birthday mood. Like, are you good? And so he tells her that he didn't know if he really even wanted to come meet her because he doesn't understand why she didn't pick. Now, in this, where the, where the Firebirds restaurant is, it's at a mall. So it's a lot of restaurants around. He doesn't know why she didn't pick somewhere nicer like P.F. Chang's or Capitol Grill is in that same plaza and down the street is Fleming's. And so he mentions like, you know, you went with your co-workers last week for one of their birthdays to Fleming's. I don't know why you wouldn't take me to Fleming's on my birthday instead of Firebirds. I know you lying. I know he lying. I know everybody lying. Because first of all. You want me to take you to Fleming's and wherever, Capital Girl, everywhere else, and you made it clear to me that you're not going to buy me a full meal when on our first date, first date, you told me not to bring a big appetite because you ain't spending more than two nickels on me, but I should have took you somewhere nice. I should have took you somewhere. I, I barely know you. Child, please. Birthday instead of Firebirds. Come again? I forgot to mention that part of the reason that he knew that she had gone to Fleming's the week before for her co-worker's birthday is because she met him after that dinner at a bar. He invited her out for a drink. So she says she goes and meets him at the bar. They're sitting there having a the drink. The bartender asks if she want another drink. And she says yes. He turns to her and says... Oh, well, I only invited you out for a drink. So if you get a second drink or anything after that, it's on you. Stop it. Stop it. So you, 
why do you keep meeting up with this man? Why do you keep spending time with him? He keeps making it clear that he don't like you enough to spend his money on you. But he damn sure wants you to spend your money on him. This is weird AF. These men are not out here really doing this. This has to be a lie, right? This can't be real. There, there's no way. Y'all tell me, is this really happening out here? Okay. Now this is where I told her she messed up because after that, why would you be doing anything for this man for his birthday? Girl, I guess. He also says, and then you text me this morning to tell me happy birthday and I told you I was on my way to get my haircut and you didn't even offer to pay for my haircut for my birthday. Sis. And I'm talking to you, young man. Y'all, the sassy men apocalypse continues. This has got to be a joke. Men, y'all ain't out here doing this, are y'all? Y'all are really not out here expecting women to pay for and take care of y'all like men are supposed to do for women. Do y'all really want the tables that flipped? If you've been on the internet at all lately, you've learned that we are in a pandemic and it's not it's the sassy man apocalypse but we are in a sassy man apocalypse however a good deal of men and women haven't seen eye to eye on this issue and it's likely because of the wide use of the word sassy by definition it means lively bold and full of spirit but in this context research suggests that it describes a man who wants the same feminine treatment as his female partner do we have to get girls roses on valentine's day why can't they get us roses i'm like why do you want the term is misconstrued when it's associated with nearly anything that's not hypermasculine or simply for challenging their partner. On the other hand, many argue that men may be more sassy because women today are more masculine. I had a girl dab me up after sex one time. She said, all right, bro, I'm gonna catch you later. The apocalypse has also been seen as contradictory because men have been told to express their emotions more, yet they're now called sassy for doing so. Could it be how they express it? And are those actions condoned if you're a woman? To be honest, this conversation can get real deep and real long. Men have changed and it's not just black men i feel like all men they don't want to work they don't want to do anything anymore and now you got to pay for his haircut and take him out to dinner and pull out his chair and wrap his napkin on his lappy lap too put a little straw in his sippy sip cup and make sure he drink it nice and pretty are you motherfucking kidding me that's what y'all out here doing for these men? So sassy men or feminine men come from men that have a distorted relationship with feminine energy. So instead of honoring feminine energy as men should, which is without, meaning that they gain permission in a way that is not, you know, detrimental to the woman to use her feminine energy and to help himself. And that comes from protecting, providing, and making sure that he's doing his part. Instead of doing that, he is trying to take feminine energy to embody it for himself, which is not possible because he is a man, so he runs mostly masculine energy, or he's supposed to. So you see how that turns into something a little bit more sinister. He's essentially stealing feminine energy to try to harness it for himself instead of actually honoring it by pouring into the women around him and the feminine without. So if you come across men like this, you'll likely realize they are considered feminine men or sassy men or whatever you want to call them. There's plenty of things going around, dusties, whatever. But this is what is happening on an energetic level. And if you want to stop attracting that kind of man, you have to work on deepening your discernment and your feminine energy. So Now I know women be coming for y'all over stupid shit like, oh, he can't eat crab legs, that's sassy. Don't pay that shit no mind. But this shit right here... Don't you expect no woman to pay for your haircut because it's your birthday. That's weird. If she don't offer, she don't offer. Don't offer to get her nail done for her birthday if that's the case. Now, some women got common sense. Like this woman right here that was speaking, she got common sense. She said, I would have boned out. That boy would have never seen her again. Okay? I'm with her. From the first outing when he told you he ain't finna buy you no meal to the second outing when he told you he only buying you one drink. How the f did y'all make it to the third outing? How did you make it to his birthday? You probably wasn't even the first woman on his list that he called. It's just the rest of them probably caught on to his broke-ass bullcrap and decided that they didn't want nothing to do with him. Who cares about you and your birthday? But you were some new booty in his life, so you don't know that he's a bum yet. So that's why you're doing all that. Girl, child, please. Hmm. Y'all better catch on. So there's definitely a rise in amount of women that are calling men sassy online. But if the shoe fits, you have to worry. Because if you are a big hardback horse of a man and you decide that you want to insert yourself into female business, honey, you are a sassy 
queen because real men are not arguing with women anytime you get online and you decide to disrespect a woman pick on a woman say derogatory things to her because you don't like what she posted you don't like a comment she made honey you're a closeted homosexual man because you would never keep that type of same energy with another man your size bigger or smaller you won't have that same energy for a man you'd be like nah bro it's all good trying to cop a plea but with a woman you'll go toe to toe with her baby boy you sassy as fuck Okay, real men are going to sit there and worry about their bag, their household, and do what they have to do as a man. Not argue with women on social media. So before you argue with a woman, make sure you're not acting like a zesty senorita. Because you will be called so. They want to be the stay-at-home dad now. They want to cook and clean and wash those dishes while expecting you to do it too. I don't know what the hell these men want no more. Shit is wild, okay? Everybody going crazy. You men are going crazy. And I keep hearing men are competing with women. Shoot. I'm starting to believe that shit. The bar is in hell. Y'all got to raise that a little bit. Okay? Because y'all down there scorching with the bar. I can't I can't do it. That's what I feel about it. If you like this video, give me a like, boo. Don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to catch you in the next one.